More about energy changes in systems now. Remember, we've just got this idea that one store empties and we've got an energy transfer and another store fills. A common energy store that you need to work with is a change in thermal energy. So this is thermal energy store. And that is given by mass, which is in kilograms, multiplied by specific heat capacity, which in joules per kilogram per degree Celsius, multiplied by a temperature change. So that's what the little triangle means and the little theta, that means together temperature change. Change in thermal energy, delta E, change in temperature, delta theta. And that is given to you on a formula sheet. Now, memorize the definition of specific heat capacity is the energy required to raise the temperature of one kilogram of a substance by one degree Celsius. Now actually notice that is exactly the same as the unit of specific heat capacity, joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. So that is the same as energy per kilogram per degree Celsius, energy per mass per temperature change. So think of the unit as being equivalent to this definition or indeed equivalent to a rearranged form of that equation. And remember that the mass means that something with a lower specific heat capacity could reach a higher temperature for the same amount of energy transferred to it. So something with a higher specific heat capacity would store more energy at the same temperature. In other words, if you have something like copper, which has a low specific heat capacity, if you put the same amount of energy in it as you did to water, the copper would reach a higher temperature. Well, you could say that it takes a lot more energy to raise the temperature of water per kilogram per degree Celsius. Mm -hmm.